Ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Norden. It is a simple enough concept. Mistakes made by people on television are funny, but combined with Dennis Norden as a presenter and writer, a TV institution was born. And welcome again to It'll Be All Right on the Night, gateway to cock-up country. A scotch and ginger, yes, I'm sure. It was very much his creation. Dennis Norden chose the clips as well as writing his scripts, eventually persuading news organisations to give up their outtakes too. It will be three to four years of intensive research before the mystery bug is even identified. This cow will be put down... <laughs> Pam Royal bringing an elegant new dimension to the word gobsmacked. Dennis Norden was born in East London and after serving in the RAF began writing radio shows, teaming up with Frank Muir to become one of the most successful writing duos in British broadcasting history. For his peers and friends, he was an extraordinary presence. When I think of Dennis, I automatically smile. I see this tall, charming, somewhat languid character but with a great sense of humour and such charm and courtesy. He felt at ease with him immediately. He was a lovely, lovely man. What are the most common reasons why some bits of film never make it to the screen? Well, in creating a format in 1977, no copied the world over, he also made famous those Dry, he featured. Fluff, the regional news reporter on this clip still gets teased today. You want the adulation for something you've covered involving something else. Uh, but here was I being the, uh, the centre of attention and getting quite a big ribbing too. This <laughs> is where we leave it. With Dennis Norden never regarded himself as a TV we personality, but as first and foremost a writer, a gentle, funny man with a voice full of warmth and humour.